Israel is not an accidental state. We didn't get here by chance. We came here because of a guiding idea. The guiding idea was the return of the people of Israel to the land of Israel, to our land and to our eternal city, Jerusalem. This has been systematically abandoned. It's uh, abandoned by politicians, by academics, and by others. Uh, and it has to be restored, not as a, uh, as a luxury, but as an essential element of our national existence. Uh, this is why I welcome the activity of Intertzu, of young students who have taken upon themselves spontaneously to begin to return these Zionist values into academia, into public discourse, uh, into public life in Israel. And this is why I support this effort, as many others do across the political spectrum in Israel, because people know that uh, these values are those that attach us to each other and to this land, and they're essential for our, not only for our survival, but for uh, securing our future. At the end of the day, politicians are guided by ideas. They might not uh, be aware of it. They might be swept in the currents of uh, other people's thoughts. But ideas ultimately govern politics, and they govern nations. And in our case, the wrong ideas are beginning to govern us. We need to uh, get back to the right ideas. And the battle of ideas takes place in, uh, in uh, the national uh, literature and in the academia, academic world, in the universities, in the colleges. This is where the uh, dominant ideas are formed, they're debated, and ultimately they either win or lose. Well, we have to make sure that the Zionist ideas win. And uh, the fact that uh, thousands of students have gathered together uh, secular and religious alike for uh, uh, reclaiming and uh, refurbishing and restoring the Zionist uh, ideals, uh, I think this is a great development, one that I support, one that has been long overdue in this country, and one that I think you should support wholeheartedly and generously. Thank you.